Hey there, it's Christian here, and in today's video, we're going to install Apache Web Server software in your VPS at Rackner. I'm going to show you step-by-step step from logging into your SSH console and running some commands related to installing the software. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so before we get started, let's go over why you would want to install Apache Web Server software onto your server. This is useful if you're looking to host a website or application on your VPS because you need a web server that can handle incoming requests and serve the appropriate content. That's where Apache comes in. And if you wanna learn more about Apache, you can check out our channel to learn more, or I'll probably link a video in the description down below or in the top right that you can check out. Furthermore, I'll assume you already have a VPS and your credentials on hand. So be sure to check out our video about that, how to order a VPS with Racknerd, which I will link to as well here at the top and to learn how you can get access to your credentials if you haven't already and also how you can initially manage your VPS as well as how to log into your SSH console. It'll all be covered in that linked video either in the cards or in the description down below. And before I forget, when installing Apache in our VPS with Alma Linux OS, we don't need to implement an additional repository since all required software is included in the AppStream Alma Linux repository. So now if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and let me share my screen and we'll get going. Okay, so to get started, let me just open up my SSH console here and log in as the root user. And I like to update my system first before installing anything using the following command, as you can see here. It might take a while depending on your internet speed, just have some patience. And by the way, I am using Bitvice SSH client here, but you're free to use any other SSH client of your choice. The commands will be the exact same. And if you want to follow along, I will paste the commands down below in the description of this video. Just check it out. Okay, once the update process is done, we can now start the installation of the Apache server by running the following command as you see here. This will install Apache along with any necessary dependencies. So after the installation is complete, we can start the Apache server by running the following command, as you can see here. To ensure that Apache starts automatically at boot, we can enable the service by running the following command here. Now Apache should already be up and running, but it's important to confirm that our web server is configured correctly. We can check the HTTP service status if it's listening on the default port, which is 80 by running the following command. And if everything is configured correctly, your output should be similar to my output here. Now that Apache is confirmed as active, it is important to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic in your firewall. But first, let's exit from the status console by pressing Control plus C and then allow our Apache service to the firewall. We can do this by using the following commands as you can see right now. And you're also free to use the appropriate commands. Now let's confirm if our Apache web server has been successfully set up by navigating our server IP through our browser. And yes, as you can see, if you can see this page, then it has successfully been installed and allowed through our existing server firewall. And that's it. You have successfully installed and configured Apache in your VPS with Alma Linux OS. Oh, and by the way, the default path for uploading your public web files for Apache will be in the var www html directory. And if you want to take your website to the next level, then there are a few tools you might consider. For example, you might want to install PHP and MySQL or Maria database and other software which will support web applications like WordPress on the server and more. We will discuss more about this in our other videos on this channel. At Racknerd, we offer a variety of VPS hosting or dedicated server plans that are perfect for hosting your website or applications. With our high performance hardware and network, you can rest assured that your website will load quickly and reliably Plus, our team is available 24-7 to attend to all of your needs. So if you're looking for a reliable hosting provider, visit Rackner.com to learn more about our plans and features. So I hope you found something valuable in this video. Plus, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next video.